Hello YouTube, um, today I'll be talking about Iconjack32. It's a simple program for extracting icons from .exe or .dll files. So let's go to an actual program to see what are we talking about. Um, very easy and nice window when you start Iconjack. Um, it has several menus, file, icon options and help. Um, you have a status of the current selected icon and the counter which counts how much icons you have in the opened DLL or EXE file. So let's import some icons. So we go to file and select import icons. Um, I'll import image res DLL from the system32 folder. So we have a uh, 219 icons in the DLL file, and the status of the um, current selected icon. So it's from imageres.dll and on number on place number 34. So um, if you go to file menu, you will see that you have a new collection option. This will clear this icon display and start up a new collection you can open up already saved collection you can save current collection you can save current collection as um, a pent collection um, add an uh, existing icon collection to this one um, save only selected icons as a collection import icons export the, uh, uh, these icons to DLL file and of course exit the program under icon you can save selected icon as ICO save icon and edit it in ICO editor um, on Windows 7 it will open up Windows Photo Viewer um, you can see the image information you can delete the selected icon mark the selected icon for moving and then of course move it to the location of the icon you want um, under options you can set the spacing between icons skip duplicate icons when appending um, you can sort icons ascending and sort icons descending um, under help menu you have help topics that will open up a uh, help system and you have a option about icon jack 32 this shows the information about creator and date created and so on so let's go ahead and save this collection so you go to file and save collection um, I'll save it to desktop and name it um, image res so as you can see we got new file IJF file which is the default um, extension for iconjack32 now um, we can delete several icons like this for example so right click and delete or just go to icon so let's just select several images icon and delete um, if you go to file and save collection this will just save changes to images IJF but if you go to file and select save as you can save it as a new uh, file so let's image res modified modified okay so we got ourselves a new file um, um, there's a, a band collection so let's modify this collection to leave only several images so let's leave only um, the last row what the? okay I'm Sorry, I was pressing the wrong button. Um, to select more icons, you need to press Shift. I pressed Cap Lock. So let's delete these. Now, you go to File and Append Collection. So you can open up a collection you want to add to a current collection. So let's add Image Res. So as you can see, we have our icons in previous collection, and we got ourselves new icons from the appended collection. Um, you can export the current collection to a DLL file so let's export it to desktop call it image res image 
res dll and save it and we got our so but i'm not sure what's wrong with this so we got some oh here it is um it was some bug in my pc or something so we have an image res dll and on the my favorite option on the icon menu is the save icon as I see you. So if you select the icon you want and go under icon and select save as I see you, you can extract the icon which, which is the main purpose of the icon jack 32. So let's name it uh, search. Click on save. And we got ourselves a new icon in ICO format. Um, if you click on icon save and edit this will uh, save the icon um, and automatically will open up the icon editor in my case it's Windows Photo Viewer um, on the image information you can get the main information about icon you selected um, you can change the background color for the icon to see which how, it, how does it look on certain background colors um, you can actually also delete icons I will show that so I can delete you can mark icon select another icon and select place to replace the marked icon with that icon so ju they just switch position on the options you can configure spacing between icons so if you like something like this um, you can skip duplicates when appending so this it will skip the same icons um, sort icons ascending and sort icons descending um, that would be all thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed by the way um, I'll put the download link to iconjectory 2 in the description um, thanks for watching and goodbye